obviously I, I started like as a ball boy at eight. That's why I'm here. So, no, I mean, I started out right out of college, uh, you know, a part-time producer going into the studio every night. But yeah, I, there, in, in 30 years, there have been a lot of people that have come and gone from this organization. There's only a few. Um, but, but what I do know is that I've done how many thousands of games. Um, I've worked with so many different people. I don't remember a lot of the game, most of the games, um, but I remember the people because, you know, 30 years later, I still have uh, good friendships that I've, that I've made along the way throughout those 30 years, uh, even people that aren't with the Nets anymore. Um, I'm really grateful for everyone at the Nets. I'm still trying to track everybody down that had a hand in this. I tell you, there were about six people involved just to make sure it was a secret, um, but there are a lot of other people from our PR to our HR, um, our marketing team, our video people who, who made a great video at the event um, that were all involved. And I've been trying to track everybody down individually that had a hand in, uh, you know, nominating me, making sure that I was chosen. Um, and uh, I hope to get to do that soon. A big reason for you getting the NBA Values Award is also because of the work that you are doing, raising awareness for FSHD. How can the p people out there who can give back, or what, what can they do, especially to give back to the Carino Foundation? Yeah, you know, another another part of winning, you know, being honored and recognized in this way, I, I feel like I, um, I have all those people with FSHD up there with me as well, because I'm trying to be an example for them. Um, when I started the foundation, back in 2011, put my name on this foundation, it was a way to connect with that community. And I had no idea what that was going to be like. And suddenly I was talking to people from all around the world who had this disease that looked to me um, for leadership in this regard. And that's what the foundation is about. We're, we're about funding research, which is needed, and we're about um, being an example for the FSHD community. And now it's gone to a broader spectrum. I get contact from people all the time that are just in the disabled community that, that want to talk and, and they tell me what kind of an example I am for them. So that keeps me going. That inspires me to keep going. And we need to keep the foundation going and keep um, seeding research. We've just given uh, almost a $100,000 grant to Ohio State Children's Nationwide Hospital there and more research that they're doing. We continue to fund at Yale University, uh, Nevada Medical School, um, great, great people doing incredible things. ChrisCarinoFoundation.org is the way to reach us um, on Twitter, on Instagram as well, Chris uh, C, uh, Carino FSHD, um, and a donation. If you, if, you, if you hear my voice, you've ever listened to me, you ever think, well, I'd love to just do something. It could be anything, $10, $20, $100,000, whatever it is that you would like to give. We really need it for research, and we would appreciate if we can get that kind of support.